Taken 3 is directed by Olivier Megaton and stars Liam Neeson, Famke Jensen, and Forrest Whitaker, as well as Maggie Grace, and it's another Taken movie. Again. Now, I really like the first Taken movie. I mean, I like it. Like, I like it a lot. I actually watch it probably once a year. I think it's a very fun action movie. It was a great new thing to see Liam Neeson killing people with his pinky finger, and he just bought it. He was great in the movie. Taken 2 is directed by Olivier Megaton, just like this one, and it was terrible. It featured some of the worst filmed action I've ever seen. So no, I was not excited for Take 3 and... Yeah, Take 3 and whatever it's called. In this movie, someone Brian Mills is very close to is killed, and he is then framed for said murder, and he's on the run from the police, so he's trying to figure out who murdered this person while also proving his innocence. And this is a much better film, by the way. Taken 3 was awful. I mean it. It was just a bad movie. And the thing that really saddens me is that I love Liam Neeson. I mean, I love this man. He's awesome. He can add credibility to anything. He can look at the screen and go, I'm a woman. And I believe it. But in this movie, he is saddled with not only an idiotic and dumb script with so many inconsistencies and so many Hollywood eyes things that make you lose all believability that you're watching something that might actually happen. All those things aside, this movie is directed and edited and shot to shit. I don't know anything about Olivier Megaton as a person. I'm not commenting on him as a person, for all I know he's an awesome guy. But as a director of action, which he continues to do, Transporter 3, Columbiana, Taken 2, and now Take 3, and... No. I said this in my review for Taken 2, and it seems like it's true for this movie. The action sequences, the median shot length, I would say, is less than a second. There's a shot early on in the movie where Brian Mills hops over a fence. This is done in about seven different shots. That's the kind of movie you're gonna get with Take 3 in. And I'm gonna keep calling it Take 3 in because that's the way they marketed the film and I wanna make fun of that. I'm not exaggerating. My best way to describe the way this action affects you is sometimes when you see a 3D film and you leave, your eyes sting a little bit because you are focusing more than usual or because you're getting assaulted in a lot of visual ways and your eyes aren't used to that. My eyes stung during the action sequences in this movie because there are so many shots that blur by within a second and they're all shaky and it's just a barrage of sound effects and noises to try to subliminally tell you that there's two people fighting, that it makes your eyes hurt because none of it looks convincing. Transporter 3 had Jason Statham, a man who can do action sequences. Columbiana had Zoe Zaldana. Did you see Guardians of the Galaxy? She can also do action sequences. This guy who directs these movies, he's taking people who are fully capable of pulling off awesome stunt work and he's making it look like garbage because something in his mind is telling him that it has to be filmed and shot this way, but it all looks so horrible. All right, so I've talked about the action. It's bad, it's terrible, it's not a good action movie. It does not look good. Let's talk about the plot. Nothing in this movie makes makes sense. From scene one, there are so many laugh out loud moments like Liam Neeson reading a text that has the word bagels in it and you actually hear Liam Neeson go, bagels in his head, and I laughed out loud in the theater, I'm sorry, no one else laughed, I laughed, it was hilarious. Now Taken 2 has a scene that I've made fun of forever, where he instructs his daughter to throw grenades off of a rooftop so he can then hear the sound of the explosions and pinpoint exactly how far away his daughter is from him. Yeah, that actually happened, okay? So I was waiting for a moment that dumb in Taken 3, since it's the same filmmaker, I was waiting for a moment that was that horrifically stupid, and I was like, wow, there actually isn't a moment that's topping that until the end of the movie. Now I'm gonna spoil of something here, so if you want to see Taken 3, warning. This isn't really a huge spoiler, but it is kind of a spoiler, but I can't go without talking about this. Here we go. After stating that his number one priority is to save his daughter, he then intentionally crashes the plane that she is in. Yeah, he intentionally crashed... <laughs> This is a really dumb, stupid movie with terrible action and an awesome, likable hero. There's some good acting in it from Famke Jensen and Liam Neeson. And Forrest Whitaker is okay, although he is playing the exact same character that he played in The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll say this about this movie. It's a watchable bad movie. You can sit there like this and watch it, and you're not going to want to go like this. <laughs> Like, you can watch this movie, and okay, it's on. You're not gonna pull a Temple of Doom on your heart. But it's still an awful movie. I'm gonna give Take 3 in a D.
It's the exact type of Hollywood crap that they're trying to make you eat up and you shouldn't. It's not good for you. Guys, what's your opinion on the Taken trilogy? Let me know below and as always, thank you so much for watching and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. Thank you